Hello, welcome back to How Evil, the video series where we investigate how evil each pull through sharpener that I can work my way through is. Spoilers, they're all evil so far, just to various extents. Now, pull through sharpeners often are sold to the most sort of, and this sounds really elitist, but most sort of uneducated people in regards to sharpening. They're sold as a quick fix. Get your knife back to factory sharp. And I mean, that may be true, because some factories don't sell sharp knives at all. So I guess it may not be a lie. But a lot of these pull-through sharpeners have set angles that are either very wide or carbide teeth that are very rough and um, give, most critically, very imprecise instructions to the users uh, who are just gonna follow exactly what it says in the box. So in this series, we've been doing our best with them. I do generally just follow the instructions they give us and we see what kind of results we get and then I try and salvage an edge, often adding an extra step like stropping against a pant leg or something similar. So today we're looking at the Edge Master. So another bold claim, not quite up there with world's best knife sharpener but this is the master of the edge I'm told by the tool itself. So this is yet again a pull through sharpener. We're going to test this pull through sharpener on two knives and I've spun the wheel of destiny and I've decided that we're going to do an outdoor knife because this is sold as an outdoor knife sharpener so we're going to get out the BK9 and we're going to sharpen this guy so really larger survival knife 1095 steel yeah, I may be going a bit easy on this guy so what I'm doing as well is I've got a Spyderco Super Gold 2 Sus 10 Limited Edition Sprint Run Don't Make Him Anymore Delica And we're going to put a Edge Master Edge on this guy as well <laughs> But in order to put an edge on so you know that this has done all the hard work First we need to take any existing edges off Before you on the table is a whetstone and two knives that are still relatively sharp. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my Two suitably poor edges, utterly flattened or just blunted, in need of an edge master to come and save them. So I'm not sure what everyone's favourite part of these videos has been so far, the blunting of the knives or the pulling through of the knives through the carbide teeth of the sharpener. Oh, give me death! Well, let's follow the instructions. Place sharpener on a flat work surface. Insert the knife blade into the slot at a 90 degree angle to the sharpener. Move the knife back towards me. Repeat, until, repeat the action until the knife is sharp. All right, let's see what kind of kind of um, groove this one makes. You know, some of them make a certain high pitched squealing, and others make more of a low pitched grunting. Either way, it's music to the ears of the. Serial killer. Ugh. Some men just want to watch the world burn. I'm just using the pressure of the knife blade, really. You get a nice sound, you pay well on these parts. Every day we stray further from God, and lo he appeared on a pale horse, and that horse, his name was Death, and Hell followed with him. Guess we'll see if the knife is sharp. I'll 
I'll do that 10 more times and I'll swap straight over to the white side. What is it boy? There's something wrong? Can you sense evil? They always say that dogs can sense evil. But here he is. Oh no, he just senses a bit of old bone or something. Clone it, shall we? Oh, that one's got a tactile shrieking to it. It shrieks at you through your hand as well as through your ears. All right, we need add an extra strap step. Pants drop step and see what we've got so far. Alright, you never know, you just never know. Let's put it back to maybe how it was just before I properly dulled it. Maybe. I think it definitely needs more, which is crazy because this is quite this is a 58 Rockwell, very basic carbon steel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do like another batch of 20 and 10 again. It is happening again. It is happening again. Right. That's way more than you should have to use a carbide pull through sharpener to put any sort of shape or edge on a knife. Right. Pants drop. Alrighty, we're finally at a, I would say, bad factory edge. Cuts paper, cuts super fluffy, intermittently stops. That's like an edge from like a, yeah. This kind of edge that like a, um, an Ontario knife would have like a really like, um, like a really thick Ontario knife would cut about as easy as that through paper. So yeah, not good. Um, just to show you that these can actually do good edges, I'll show you um, the WorkSharp pull-through sharpener, which, while still evil, is the least evil I've had so far. So that can actually put a decent edge on something. So I will show you that at the end. But now, my God, like that took a while. This is like 64 or 62 Rockwell, much higher carbon, Japanese, awesome steel. This might be a while, folks. Oh, I'm so sorry, Spyderco. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I feel something terrible has happened. Sort of, kind of, something. Sort of, kind of. He gives no instruction on how much pressure to put, so I'm just sort of 
I'm trying to imagine how much the BK would have been under from its weight and just putting a light amount like the BK9 had just artificially using my, my wrist. So I think I'm being fair. I'm just a step with my pants this isn't even suggested by these people. I just, it's just me wanting to give them a bloody break. Alrighty, so we're back at Bad Factory. Let's uh, see if we can hone it into to Mediocre Factory. I've got this glass of vodka sitting in front of me and I'm just... I said I'm not allowed to have it until I finish this video, so... Why has God abandoned us? I'm gonna have it really quickly. I'm gonna have it quicker than I'd have Kylie if I caught her on the photo shoot for the, the Fever album. And that's pretty damn fast. Alrighty, I would say that is at mediocre factory, like maybe what some benchmates come at or um, you know, not all benchmates come with bad factory edges, but it's about about standard. You'd go, oh yeah, that cuts. That's all right. I'll, I'll make do with that edge until I can be bothered putting my own on. So, not so bad. Probably also factoring in a thinner blade stock, helping it do a bit of cutting. This, and remember, this is for outdoor knives. Did a horrible job of this one. So there we are, the outdoor edge knife sharpener. Um, this is fairly evil. I would say it's it's more evil than the workshop. The workshop one, while still obviously evil, is not is, is on the lower end of the scale. So this one is sitting pretty comfortably. So you've got most evil we've had so far was the clever sharp, which was the world's best knife sharpener, and that on the scale of evil that I like to use was sitting at Kefka. So Kefka was the worst of the bunch, just gleefully evil, uh, not a single redeeming quality. Uh, this one I'm going to sit at um, Maester Seymour, Seymour Guado. So Seymour had an air of arrogance to him. Um, he would call himself the Edge Master. In fact, Seymour was a bit of an Edge Lord when you think about him. Beg your pardon, but that's not something a Maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. Um, but he, um, yeah, he, this this one reminds me of Seymour Guado the most, and about that level of evil. Um, so yeah, definitely up towards the, the far end of the scale, because frankly, it's just not very good. Like, some of these will put on an edge that is, you know, yeah, it may ruin the, the blade geometry and make it so the, the blade's like, you know, 20 sharpenings uh, life shorter than, you know, if you'd used a nice system. So some of them may do, it may do that at that cost, but this won't even do that at that cost. This one just doesn't work that good. Uh, so it's, you know, it's pretty darn evil. It's only 10 bucks, so... I mean, what do you expect? But then you think about it, that took a good probably five to ten minutes to get this anywhere near close to what, you know, where it should be. And you get a system like this, and I'm not, this is not a workshop channel, I don't love everything they do. Um, but you get something like this for 50 bucks in America or, you know, 100 bucks in Australia, that will do a ten minute sharpening job and have it properly sharp again. You can check my most recent video on this guy, this is the, um, the angle set knife sharpener from Workshop. You know, or the Lansky, the Lansky angle sharpener, something like that. These deals just, just don't buy them. All right, they're evil, especially this one. More so the clever sharp, evil, evil, 